Welcome to the Indian Street Breakfast in downtown Old Delhi. If you want to chow down on Indian Street food and improve your life one calorie at a time, then you've come to the right place. So I was cruising around the mean streets of downtown Old Delhi trying to get myself some street breakfast action. Now aside from getting myself some incredible street food for breakfast, I also got the best ice cream I've ever had in India. So if you like yourself some top-notch ice cream, then stick around till the end of the video. I think you're gonna like it a lot. Anyway, I started off my morning sprinting on over to a famous establishment called Jane Coffee House. Now, I didn't see anyone there named Jane, and I didn't see much coffee neither, but what I did see was a whole lot of fruit sandwiches. Seems like a pretty buck-wild concept to me, so I figured I'd get myself a mango and cheese sandwich for breakfast. And as you can see, that maestro's preparing some freshly sliced mango with some freshly cut cheese. He was laying down those sandwich ingredients with a little tender loving care, and I could have sworn he just winked at me. Now check this out, seems to me like the maestro sliced a little butter onto that sandwich, then got some extra bread, put some marmalade on it. Then he made that bread on bread sandwich and he started cutting the crusts off that puppy. Now, it does seem like this maestro prefers the white part of the bread to the brown part. I'm not exactly sure why. Call me crazy, but I think that might be some anti-brown bread discrimination. But discrimination or not, even I got to admit that right there is a nice sandwich. So I went to pick up this sandwich and what the hell? This mofo's a tad hard to pick up. Seems like that mango is lubricating the hell out of that bread. I guess this is more of a two-hand kind of deal, but I'm holding the camera with my other hand. So I looked at that sandwich, admired it, took myself a bite, and whoa. Oh my Narendra Modi, what the heck is going on with this sandwich? It's tasting so swadished that I'm actually at a loss for words over here. I mean, it is a tad precarious and it may be sliding apart, but in some small way, the sandwich touched my heart. Just how exactly did the sandwich taste will let me splain it to you real simple like. The precise New Delhi nanosecond that I took myself a bite, I was tasting an explosion of mango flavor. As I've been told before, there's more than 200 kinds of mangoes in India, and this one was of the extra sweet variety. I mean, the mangoes you can get in America usually have a slight sour aftertaste, but these didn't have that at all. All you could taste was some pure mango sweetness coupled with a little richness from that cheese. Now, that mango cheese combo might sound a tad strange, but actually those flavors went together like two peas in a buck wild pod. That fresh unaged Indian cheese didn't have any sourness to it, it just had a rich milky flavor. It kind of tasted like a hard version of ricotta cheese if that makes any sense. Bottom line is it went pretty well with that mango. Add to that those delightfully empty white bread calories, and right here you got yourself a winner, baby. So with all that said, I think I owe it to myself, and I think I owe it to the world at large to rate this sandwich a 5 out of 5 Narendra Modis. Oh, you heard me correctly, baby cakes. I think this sandwich was so swadished that Modi himself would be proud to chomp down on it. So next up, I boosted full speed over to a place called Paranta Wali Gali. It's a small alleyway famous for Paratha bread shops, and this particular shop has been going on since 1889. It's getting pretty historical around here, so I started checking out their bread making techniques. We got one maestro putting in some stuffing and rolling up the bread, and we got another maestro cooking it up. It doesn't seem like the world's healthiest food operation, but I have a feeling that despite that fact, this bread might just change my life. So I sat down, ordered myself some bread, and the maestro gave me a plate of fixins. 
And the first bread I got over here is a Nimbu Paratha, aka Lemon Flavored Paratha. Now, I've seen much higher quality Parathas before, but I'll withhold judgment until I taste it. I want to be present to the moment when I eat this Paratha, and I want to approach it with a beginner's mind. Much like a newborn babe shot out the womb, full fucking throttle, I want to experience this Paratha with no preconceptions. So in a state of full, zen-like awareness, I opened up that Paratha and took a look. It seemed like it actually had some mashed potato and spices jammed on inside it. So I grabbed that deep fried shred of bread, took a dip in that aloo curry action, then I took myself a bite. And as soon as I bit into that bread, I was kinda surprised that was a lemon explosion of flavor. I'm not sure if they put dried lemon skins inside that paratha or if it was just artificial lemon, but that was strong as hell. I must say I was feeling kinda torn about that bread. On the one hand, that lemon was tasting good, but on the other hand, the actual flavor of that lemon was a tad too intense. On top of that, the actual quality of the bread seemed to be a bit lower than what I'm used to in Delhi. So although I did enjoy this bread, I think I'm gonna have to rate it a 3 out of 5 Narendra Modi's. After all, I think Modi himself would not like to eat that Paratha, but hey, what do I know? Nevertheless, I figured I should put in a good faith effort and try one more Paratha over here. I got me a robbery Paratha, which is basically like condensed sweet milk inside a Paratha. I didn't really know what to expect, but I took myself a bite and whoa, 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 I got robbery shooting out all over the place here. It's getting out of control over here, baby, so let me put this on the side dish and get my bearings. Okay, I think I got this under control now, and whoa, 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 we got some robbery shooting out, better take a bite, and whoa, more robbery shooting out the bottom, what the hell's going on around here? How's a man supposed to eat his meal when the damn bread is ejaculating all over the plate? Okay, I think the worst of it is behind me now, and that's actually tasting pretty decent. I think I'm starting to like this Paratha, and whoa, 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 the damn thing's busting at the seams. Seems to me like this Buckwild bread should come with a warning label of sorts. But messy though that may be, I must admit that actually was tasting pretty swad-dished. That fried bread paired up with that warm, sweet, milky robbery was actually a pretty decent flavor combo. The more I bit into that Paratha, the more I liked it, so I think I'm gonna have to rate it a 4 out of 5 Narendra Modi's. I mean, even though that bread did not change my life, it did please my palate. Long story short, nice fucking bread right there. So after chowing down on that heavy food, I figured I should get myself a sweet motherfucking treat. So I made a mad dash over to Kure Mall's Cool Fees. It's a famous Indian ice cream establishment, and I figured I'd give this pomegranate stuffed cool fee a go. So the maestro started cutting through that rock hard pomegranate all nice and careful like. And as you can see, that bad boy is jammed with some pomegranate flavored ice cream. Seems to me like just what the diabetic doctor ordered, so I started checking out that pomegranate ice cream, and it was looking real nice. Then I slowly but surely took myself an Urbane nibble and holy masala dogs. That right there tasted like some high quality pomegranate juice infused ice cream. Plus I was getting the occasional pomegranate seed bite in there and I was loving it to bits. Seems to me like having frozen fruit stuffed with ice cream for breakfast is a pretty nice tradition. After all, they say breakfast is the most important meal of the day, so what better way to start off your day than to spike that blood sugar? So after I finished off that pomegranate stuffed kulfi, I figured I'd go for a mango stuffed kulfi. And holy Maharaja dogs, is this thing for real right now? Somehow they got that mango pit out and then they filled it with some mango and pistachio ice cream. Call me crazy, but I think this ice cream right here is the very definition of buck wild baby cakes. So I wasn't exactly sure if I should eat this ice cream with my hands, but I figured fuck it, might as well go for the gold. 
and as soon as I took that first bite, I damn near lost my mind. I knew right then and there, without hesitation, that that was most definitely the best ice cream I've had in India. That tropical mango sweetness, coupled with that extremely high-quality mango and pistachio ice cream, really hit the spot. And I gotta say, without a doubt, that both of these fruit-stuffed kulfis were worthy of a 5 out of 5 Narendra Modi's. And overall, that old Delhi street food breakfast tour was a resounding success. Oh, and by the way, if you like life-enhancing Indian street food tours, then feel free to check out some of my previous videos. I got an old Delhi nighttime street food tour, and I've got a Mumbai street food tour, just to name a few. I've got those links down in the description box. So don't forget to subscribe for all your dreams to come true, and thanks for watching this video. Why don't you leave a comment? Let me know what you think.